it's extremely important to be mindful in today's modern world. Everyone knows this, right? You know, when was the last time you saw someone uh, just walking down the street with their phone? You know, you see it all the time. Mindlessness. People are constantly mindless. And there needs to be some kind of remedy for this. What's the remedy that people always say to mindfulness? Mindlessness, sorry. Well, I've given away the answer now, but it's mindfulness. Specifically, mindfulness meditation. Um, this is what most people use to, to get them mindful, to get them in the moment, to sort of savor smaller things in life, get them into the now. You know, you guys, you guys have heard all this stuff before. Um, I'm just going to recommend that you take a step back from worrying too much about any specific meditation practice. Um, I think the trouble is, in my experience, is you go from scrolling on TikTok, you know, you go from like walking around with your headphones in, you know, you go from just hyper stimulation, and then suddenly you're expected to sit down and meditate. Now, it works for some people, but the thing that I found much more effective, I mean, miles more effective than meditating is just finding time in the day to just not even meditate, but just sit down and just do nothing, like just taking my surroundings, which is effectively what meditation is. But um, So for example, at the moment, I've done it in the last two mornings, when I've gotten up and I have a coffee, I'll just sit, instead of having a coffee while doing something, I'll just sit uh, looking out the window um, or in the garden and just drink it and just do nothing else. And, you know, not all of us have the time to do that, I understand that. Um, but I think, you know, if you struggle with meditation, if you struggle with getting into the moment, uh, you know, you want to become more mindful, but meditation just isn't doing it for you. This might be the thing to do, you know, because it's just, it's just a little bit easier than, than committing to a, a full-on meditation practice. You know, I mean, you're still going to make time for it, you're still, still going to make it a habit, but it's easier to see results in it, you know. Um, you'll be ma amazed by how much just sitting there with a cup of coffee and just taking your surroundings can do to you. Um, and that's really, that's really been my thing. I mean, it's, there's a sort of qu a funny like quote that I saw about uh, uh, this topic, which was like, it was just like a bit of writing, or I think it was a tweet or something, and it says, I don't meditate, but sometimes I'll go on to, into the TV room and watch some TV without my phone. Um, which, are, you know, it's quite funny because it's just kind of making fun of how distracting we all are and how mindless we all are. Um, and you know, I know what they mean. Like, it, it sort of is at the point where, like, you know, we're all so distracted that, that actually not going on your phone while you're watching TV is like actually quite impressive now. You know, um, but I think this, this is the thing. This is why this is what you're up against. This is why meditation is so difficult, um, and this is why the sort of scaled down version of, of, of meditation, what is effective meditation, this is a slightly scaled down practice of just not even really meditating, you know, not even so being too worried about your thoughts and sort of focusing on your breath or anything. It's just, just, just have time without stimulus, you know, even if that's, you know, whatever that stimulus is, just spend time without it. Just, just, that's the thing, you know, you, you gotta walk before you can run, you know. You can't expect to do a really sort of profound meditative practice when, you know, you can't even sit in the garden and listen to the, listen to the birds, listen to the trees, well, listen to the air going, the wind going through the trees. The trees don't really sound like anything as such. Uh, you know, just stop picking up smells. Um, you know, it's funny, I woke up this morning and the first thing that hit me was the smell. You know, and maybe, maybe there are other things involved in that, but I think, I think that was just such a beautiful thing to be sort of mindful of the smell. I was like, when was the last time I, I smelled? Oh, I would would have noticed the smell of the of the air, and, and I think some of that is just because I've been doing this sort of, I've been practicing 
being mindful in this way. It's not. It's not meditation. It's just. It's just. Um, just. Just like taking in your surroundings, um, and yeah, just try this and, and do it for like. You know, ten minutes minimum. You know, because it, uh, what my experience was was like first ten minutes of doing it. It's like this is a bit boring. This is a bit stupid. Um, you know, this is a waste of time. I need to get on. But then. After ten minutes, you start you start suddenly coming into the surroundings in a much more profound way. You, you know, little things start you start noticing small things that, that you didn't notice before. Um, and yeah, that's all it is, guys. Just very basic uh, mindfulness. But um, I'm, I'm going to see where I go with it myself. You know, uh, is it is it you know will it develop into a more full meditation practice? Possibly, possibly not. But uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.